Now, you go to a winemaker and say, hey, listen, you know, you're getting a lot of flack about the weight of your bottles. Your bottles are pretty heavy. And, that, and, and everybody knows that a bottle is the largest CO2 footprint in the winemaking process. How much does your bottle weigh? Oh, my bottle weighs 350 grams. Well, wait a minute. What if you put a clo cork closure in there and it had 562 negative grams? You'd be 200 grams in the green. You'd be, you'd be carbon negative for a bottle of wine with a natural closure in it. Microagglomerated, 393 grams of CO2. A natural cork, 288. So the bottom line is, is if you do the full extrapolation on that life cycle analysis, you come up with hundreds of grams of CO2 that has been sequestered by that closure. If you take out that extrapolation from the tree and you want to be a little bit more finite, then it comes down to somewhere, in the somewhere between 9 and 20 grams of CO2 per cork. But I think the important thing is, is that even if it were just 9 grams, if you, could, if, you, if you knew that something you were putting in your bottle sequestered 9 grams of CO2, and you multiplied that times the number of bottles of wine you make in a year, that number gets pretty big pretty quick. And so you have not only a closure that is sequestering CO2, not pro producing CO2, which a screw cap or a plastic closure is doing in gr gross amounts, 